guys, it's Beauty Snoop, Megan Moore, and today I'm gonna give you five really great tips that you can use anytime you're getting professional pictures taken. So whether it be for your bridals, for family photos, engagement photos, whatever it is, five makeup tips that will really help and keep your pictures looking fantastic for years to come. You'll never look back and cringe because we're gonna keep it classic. So tip number one, you want to pump up the color when it comes to your cheeks. So a lot of times we get washed out when we're in natural light or even other studio lights and our cheek color kind of disappears. So give yourself a little bit more blush. You don't want to look like you have a strip of 80s blush going on, but just a little bit more color than you might typically wear on a day to day basis. It will go a long way to making sure your face looks alive and bright and happy. Tip number two is all about picking the right lip color. So you want to pick something that you actually wear. Maybe it is something you wear, a day-to-day -day color that you love. Just make sure that it's not nude and make sure that it's not something that you would never wear. So if you don't wear red lipstick, don't put red lipstick on for your pictures because it will feel foreign to you. It will look and feel not like yourself and you always want your pictures to reflect your true you. So pick a color that is consistent with what you normally wear, but bump up the volume a little bit so that it doesn't disappear in the distance. Tip number three is all about eyeliner. And when I say eyeliner, I mean no eyeliner. Now I might get some hate from other makeup artists on this, but I think eyeliner in professional pictures usually ends up hurting more than helping. And why I say that is because when we smile, our eyes naturally compress and they get smaller. And the further we are away from the camera, the smaller our eyes become, they just can't be seen. And if we rim our eyes with eyeliner, it closes them down even more. So I say ditch the eyeliner. Instead, you can get, get a little dip definition with maybe some brown shadow. You know, I don't want your eyes to, to completely feel bare, but instead focus on the lashes. Get them big and bold if you wanna wear falsies for your pictures or get lash extensions. That's a great way to, to open up the eyes and really give focus to the eyes, but not close them down. Tip number four is all about mattifying everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Well, you can have a little bit of shimmer on your eyes, no problem there. But when it comes to your skin and it comes to your lips, matte is best. When we're dealing with outdoor photography or even indoor photography, we're dealing with a light source that's bright and reflective. And if we've got a lot of shimmer on our cheeks or on our, or a glow on our forehead, we're gonna have light spots that reflect. The other thing to keep in mind is typically we're dealing with heat right? Um, sun, all that stuff, we start to be sweaty. If we're wearing a wedding dress, we start to be sweaty. If you're at all nervous, you start to be sweaty. So over time, your face is going to start to get more shiny and oily. So start with it as matte as possible. Mattify the forehead, nose, and cheeks especially, and then don't forget about your lips. Gloss is a no-go because anytime we're dealing with wind and we have hair, it's going to stick to our gloss and it's awful. So just mattify everything. Your results will be that much better. Tip number five is all about making your makeup last. So if we're doing family photos, we're doing bridals, typically we're going to be there, I would say over an hour, and you're going to be in that spotlight the entire time. We don't want our makeup to break down. So set it before, during, and after your application of your makeup. So before, on nice, clean, moisturized skin, give it a nice spray, let it dry, apply your foundation and concealer, and then spray it again before you add all of your other things on top, and one final setting spray at the end that's gonna lock everything in place and make it that much better, last that much longer, look that much better in pictures, all the things. Don't forget to set. Okay, you guys, that is it for me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you would give it a like, a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe, that would be awesome. If you want more ideas on makeup for photos, specifically bridal photos, my friend Gentry is a professional makeup artist and she just got married. She's sharing a video over on her channel about her whole makeup experience for her bridals and she did her own makeup, which is so amazing. So if you wanna go check that out and get some more ideas specifically for bridal, then be sure you check out her link down below. I'll see you guys all soon, bye.